Hey, what is up, guys? Here's your boy Max Truth here again with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about the topic of why you seem to get more attention from women once you go MGTOW. Now, to really understand the reason why the number of women that have been noticing you has increased dramatically as opposed to before you were MGTOW has a lot to do with your personal mindset. You see, a lot of men before they were MGTOW had this beta male mindset. And I'm not going to lie, I had this beta male mindset as well. Where I believe that all women were princesses and women are special and I, put, I used to put women on a pedestal. But ever since I discovered the red pill and I've become accustomed to the truth of women's true nature... Whether it comes to manipulation tactics, whether it comes to hypergamy and women's desire to date or marry men that are way above them in terms of looks, status, and money, but also the general misandristic society that we live in, which favors women much more than men, in which women are taught that women are special and that they could do no harm, and that men are the instigators of any sort of injustice or wrongdoing when it comes to actions towards a woman. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're going to dive deep into the topic on why you seem to attract way more women in a time where it seems that now you just don't give a crap about women. Now you're attracting women when you don't give a crap about them versus before when you actually wanted to date and meet women you couldn't attract women at all. Now, the reason for this is it all has to do with your mindset. Before, when you were blue-pilled, every man that's blue-pilled has this idea in his mind that one day I'm going to meet this perfect woman that I'm going to marry and have children with, and then we're just going to ride off into the sunset like some sort of Disney Channel movie, like some sort of Disney movie. We're all going to live happily ever after. But since the rise of the red pill in MGTOW, where a lot of men with knowledge, especially older men, who've kind of played the game of life when it comes to dating, finances, and everything, have shed a light on the whole situation for younger men, especially men like myself, what this has done, it's opened our eyes to the true nature of women. So what happens is you go from a place of desperation in a place of, oh, women are so special, I want to date every single one of them, blah, 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 and I want to date and I want to marry, to a point where you show not only an abundance mindset, whereas you don't even care about women, whether or not she leaves you or whether or not you actually get a woman, but you come from a place of indifference. Now, I believe that this indifference is the reason why it seems like you have a rise in attraction of women. See, beforehand, I'm going to assume like you're like most men out there. Beforehand, where you saw a beautiful woman in public, you probably would have been very enchanted by her beauty, and you would have immediately put her up on a pedestal in your own mind. You would have said, man, she's so beautiful, and she's out of my league. But now, now that you know that women are no different than men, that women are just equals to men and not this metaphorical pedestal has been placed in your mind like society forces you to believe. Now women have gone from these unicorns to just ordinary people. So you no longer have that desperation in your mind to chase women and to act thirsty, which causes them to lose attraction for you. So when you become MGTOW and you have this abundance mindset and you have this mindset of I really don't give a crap what women think of me and just because she's attractive doesn't mean she's hot shit and she can do whatever she wants, you come across unintentionally at least as an alpha male. You come across as a type of guy that won't take her shit. You come across as a guy who is not going to expect something out of her because you did something nice for her, like nice guys do. So in turn, what this does is, in a girl's mind, it makes her think, wow, why is this guy ignoring me? 
I'm beautiful, and this guy who seems like an average guy is just ignoring me. So what she thinks in her mind now is that you're above her. See, we know due to hypergamy, which is women's innate nature and biology, to date men that are higher than them on a socioeconomic uh, level, women's nature is to want to date guys that are wealthy, that are tall, that are handsome, that have something going for them. Basically, men that don't put women on a pedestal. Because a man that has options is not going to just act thirsty. He's not going to try to talk to and date every single attractive woman he sees. So by you ignoring her, you subconsciously put off this vibe that, hey, I'm high status. That's why I'm ignoring you. But you're, but the whole I'm ignoring you part because I'm high status doesn't is not something vocal that you say, but something that comes across in your attitude, in your body language. So when women see this, they value as high status because a high status man is not just going to chase any random woman, especially a woman that he deems to be beneath her. So when you ignore her and you couldn't care less about her opinion, you come across as high status, which in turn causes them to want you more. Now, this was the major reason why I think that women seem to be attracted more to men once they go MGTOW as opposed to the days where they were blue-pilled.